What's up y'all, we are back in the shop and today we're gonna to be making two squirrel feeders that somewhat similar to each other and all we're gonna be using is just some scraps from the shop. Hope y'all enjoy the video. All right, y'all, we're gonna take this scrap piece of treated lumber to make the main part of the feeders and it measures about four and a sixteenth. So we're gonna mark those out we're going to cut four of those out over at the miter saw. Okay, so here's the four main parts of the squirrel feeder. Two of them is going to be the base, and uh, that's what's going to fasten to the tree. And we'll just put two screws in. Right now we'll just pre-drill the holes for the screws. And those don't have to be perfect. They're just gonna hold it to the tree. And then these two is what the corn, corn cobs is gonna spin on. So what we're gonna do is find the center. All right, so the first one, the only thing you have to do is drill four pockets in it. We'll mark these out. So we're gonna drill four pocket holes in it, and then we're gonna take a four inch deck screw, and we're gonna screw down in there, and about three inches or so is going to be sticking out the end, and that's what you can put your corn cob on. All right, so the first thing we've done is adjusted our Craig jig for the two by material. We're gonna clamp it in. Drill all four holes. And there you go. So each screw is gonna stick out. About three inches or so, and that should be enough for your corn cob to stick on. Uh, we'll go on and screw all those screws in it, and that part of it will be finished. All right, now we're going to take and uh, drill the hole in the center, and that's what we're going to use to attach it to the base. All right, y'all, so we got the first one ready, and we're gonna attach the base to the tree using these four inch deck screws to the holes that we've already drilled. Then we're gonna put a washer between both blocks and attach this block to the bottom with a four inch deck screw. Then you attach your corn cobs on the screws, just making sure that the corn cob is slanted away from the tree. And that's all there is on this, and we're gonna go ahead and get the second one finished and then we'll mount them at the same time okay for our second one it's going to start out similar like the first one we got our base that's going to attach to the tree a washer then this block that's going to attach to the base then we'll have four arms that's about 17 inches long somewhere around a half inch thick and we're going to attach the corn cob out on the end of those and we're going to do that over at the table saw Okay, so we got our four strips cut, and we're just gonna use some tap bond three to glue them to the block, and then some staples to hold them to the glue drives. And then we got these four blocks I cut out, and we'll do the same thing on the ends of these arms. We'll just glue and staple those on it. And then we can drill our hole for our screw to hold our corn cob out on the end. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, so we got all the blocks fastened to the ends, and all we gotta do now is drill the hole in them for the screw that's gonna hold the corn cob. All right, so the last step is to put the screws in, the holes that I pre-drilled, and it's gonna go all the way through the block. All right, and then the corn cob will just slide on those screws just like that on the end of all four arms. All right, y'all, so we got both squirrel feeders made, and if everything went well, maybe it will fasten to the tree, no problems, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go put them out on the trees and see how it goes. If I don't get any footage of the squirrels and able to put it on this video, I will put a link at the end of this and, and try to get some footage later. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.